fun again for the final module four. Uh, I'm Walter Leukmann from Startup Commons and uh, I'm again joined with Oscar also on the other line so he can help also to, to voice out any questions along the way. <clears throat> and as usual we have quite a bit of material to go through so we'll just get started, started on those. So once more uh, welcome from my side and uh, the module four um, we are focusing on <coughs> the sustainability in the ecosystem development and orchestration so considering that from multiple different aspects and looking at how can we achieve a, a uh, sustainable operations for uh, for the ecosystem key function and uh, quickly again for for my own introduction um, you have the, the, the background there and uh, really motivated and, and focused on the, the innovation scaling innovation entrepreneurship as has have been for quite a bit of time so that's mainly the background so everything kind of contributing towards the topics that we are covering so let's just dive directly into the, the whole topic and, and like with many other things we like to break down things um, a bit further so that we can get a, a better essence of uh, the, the topics uh, what we're discussing about so when we talk about sustainability in the context of ecosystem development and, and operate, sustaining the operations of the orchestration activities and so forth. Of course, we are talking about uh, the financial sustainability. So uh, the ability and increasing ability to sustain uh, the type of functions that we are we have been discussing so far. So, um, but before we start talking about uh, orchestrating ecosystem and uh, ecosystem operations and those functions, uh, the key is really we need to understand the big picture uh, for what we're building. And uh, a lot of the previous modules, of course, contribute for that. But it all starts from, from having the, the bigger picture in mind from multiple different perspectives. So, so, so that, that really is the, is the starting point for, for achieving what we want to achieve. And uh, because ecosystem is not something that is owned by anyone, uh, otherwise it would be called an organization or a government or, uh, or, or something else. But uh, because it's called an ecosystem and that's the whole uh, uh, invisible infrastructure that we're discussing, uh, it really requires working at multiple levels and that's also where the challenge comes from and that's why it's also so uh, difficult to, to uh, kind of find the easy answers or obvious solutions from, from the, the kind of the past, more siloed, uh, more linear world uh, instead of how things should look like in more interconnected non-linear world around ecosystem, ecosystems and digital world and so forth. But it really, the essence is that we're talking about multi-stakeholder uh, activities. And, uh, and when we talk about uh, the ecosystem uh, as, as more broadly, we also have to understand the, the, the topics that we covered earlier that uh, uh, the ecosystem itself is not something where you have a clear line of of here's where our ecosystem starts and here's where it ends and, uh, and ecosystems can be considered at, at uh, multiple geographical levels from local to national to regional to global as well as then business verticals uh, ecosystems that are then typically cross-cutting multiple geographical uh, ecosystems. <clears throat> But then also to understand the separation between the, the smaller, uh, I would say smaller, non, um, uh, smaller similar structures than ecosystems that typically are more called like communities. 
uh, specifically like uh, communities around events or communities around a specific uh, uh, topic and, and, and so forth. But typically the communities and ecosystems also uh, are kind of casually used as talking the, about the same thing, but uh, the difference mainly is that communities are more are smaller and they are more um, also more controlled as such, or they are more manageable because typically they are smaller size. And one of the one of the key places where this uh, concept of communities and uh, ecosystems get mixed is actually on on one of the best books about the ecosystem um, concept uh, from early on by Brad Feld, where the communities, because Boulder is a small, very small city, uh, where kind of that concept has emerged. Uh, the, the concept of community and ecosystem gets easily easily mixed. But nevertheless, it's also in the same uh, concept that uh, the ecosystems also are in different levels and different sizes, and as, as such, they have different types of functionalities. But the key thing with this is that they are not meant to be considered as organizations that are more uh, structures that are clearly owned by someone. And then there are, of course, the function verticals. Um, but this is just to kind of uh, to bring the topic back into everyone's mind again uh, around what we're discussing more now. And uh, we, we discussed also about uh, the, the, um, uh, the relationship between the ecosystem forum and ecosystem operator and the governance model. And here we are then looking and taking a deeper look into a operator's own uh, kind of resourcing. Um, so how does the ecosystem operator then would look like in a structural way of what type of uh, uh, structure it would be inside of the ecosystem uh, operator governance by the ecosystem forum uh, key stakeholders. So the advisory group here is representing the, uh, the, the ecosystem forum stakeholders. So this would be typically uh, the, the topical owners uh, from business angel network or entrepreneurship representation or support function representation accelerators and so forth. And the owners <coughs> for the ecosystem operators should be public private partnership type of uh, ownership structure that, that uh, includes private and public um, both finance as well as mandate uh, from the public side to, to really drive this key uh, uh, orchestration role as an ecosystem operator to, uh, for the economic development in the context of uh, innovation entrepreneurship by startups. <coughs> so uh, in this team there should be of course communication is a very core function so uh, a key point of keeping everyone aware of what's going on in the ecosystem, what's being done by the ecosystem uh, orchestration activities and uh, ecosystem forum and so forth. Um, there needs to be an operative ecosystem um, manager type of role, someone who takes on as a, as a key contact point and a key knowledge um, source, uh, not meaning that it should be attached to a person, but one who knows where, the, the, where and how the knowledge gets into the shared systems. Uh, then from the technical perspective, because of including the, the, the digital aspect, there should be technical uh, project management, uh, and when we talk about um, ecosystem level um, user experience, um, so improving the experience, how people and companies and mentors and investors and startups navigate the ecosystem. This is a specific skill by user experience designers more broadly, not only in the context of uh, like individual application, but really more holistic view of uh, across services and so forth. 
and then system administrator type of function for someone who understands the, the technology and specifically the system infrastructures in a deeper level uh, to look at and really understand the digital economy side of functions in the context of ecosystem operator. And then for the applications, whether they are own applications or applic collaborative applications or whether they are um, new applications or existing applications, there should be um, technical capabilities to not only use but to improve and develop applications from their front-end functionality, so user interfaces, uh, creating new user interfaces to existing data sources and so forth. And of course, backend developers who are able to work more directly with data uh, application interfaces and so forth. And then uh, all of this uh, development activity that happened, whether it's uh, on technical side, whether it's uh, um, uh, ecosystem level, whether it's application level, needs to have product management uh, capability to to see what can be, what should and what is being uh, created as a product or a, a service, you know, in a, in a way, whether that's a data product, whether that's an application product, whether that's a service product, uh, so that uh, it can be properly seen as one and most importantly, uh, when looking from the ecosystem perspective, having how these products exist in the ecosystem uh, in a most um, similar sense as you would imagine any product use. And then uh, expanding this with uh, external resources that are more specifically uh, resources uh, coming from contributing organizations and those who are the active participants in the ecosystem forum activities. <clears throat> uh, so here's just a little bit of uh, the type of uh, more clarity into description of these types of uh, resources, but these are uh, relatively general in their nature, but the point is how to really uh, look at this in the context of ecosystem uh, development. And, uh, and in the previous module, we discussed a lot about the need to have in the same team and even better, the more it can exist in the same uh, individuals, uh, the, the business operational capabilities combined with technical uh, operational capabilities. Uh, and again, not meaning that one needs to be technically capable of uh, doing actual programming level or system and administrative things but really understand how digital business and digital services actually are designed, built and function. So, <clears throat> and because we, we know it's like, this is a very similar um, situation like you would have in uh, building a startup. So this is a challenge that every entrepreneur faces as well. It's like, how do you build something from nothing? So how do you approach something that doesn't exist there and the more unknown, untested, uh, the more uh, new it is, the more challenging is it is to acquire uh, these types of resources uh, easily. So uh, it both can and should be able to build uh, step by step over time. So the point should not be to try to get things ready and put it in place as such, but really um, understand the notion of building things over time, step by step. So the starting point is, of course, um, for these activities is to, to get to the place where the ecosystem forum is. I mean, if, if there are, in many ecosystems, there are these types of ecosystem forums in their different shapes or sizes kind of working already or they are uh, being established or they are in the random shape, random periodical uh, uh, presence or they are happening, that same people are coming together under different events. Uh, so the group is kind of 
there and they are meeting in different occasions, but it's not really put into a structural format. And that's a lot what we discussed uh, on the previous module in much more detail, how to organize the ecosystem forum and, and these types of activities. But it all starts from uh, the key stakeholders uh, to, to taking a more serious um, commitment and more serious look in how do we actually get uh, to this uh, ecosystem orchestration and ecosystem operations um, work step by step in, in a meaningful, 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 meaningful way. So uh, the key is to, to identify and, and really get the key stakeholders to come and sit together uh, and around this topic uh, with the serious target of, of starting to solve that together. So including the higher education and research side where the, the new talent is always emerging. Uh, it comes from elsewhere as well, but that is a, a, a big source. The big companies, the big companies, those who are big on size or big on uh, influence or in, uh, impact or big on thought leadership, uh, and, and then those who are uh, always going to be there uh, in the longer term anyway, the finance organizations. So these are the banks and the funding organizations, whether they are public or private funding organizations uh, that provide loans and risk capitals and so forth. And the local and, and national um, governments, so the public sector side in different uh, shapes. Because these are kind of the key stakeholders in the such sense that they don't really change with that size, similar rapid pace as many other things in the ecosystem. Smaller stakeholders, support functions, entrepreneurs for sure, startups, uh, even accelerators, smaller investors, angels. Uh, a lot of that is very dynamic in the center, but these kind of cornerstone actors are more long term by design. Having said that, none of them by this de default uh, have or should have ecosystem operator as their role or not even as their new primary role uh, because it could easily become just an extension of their, uh, of their uh, existing operations. 